Hey, this is Jack from the Binocular and Telescope Shop in Sydney. Today, we're going to look at how we attach the Celestron XYZ to a telescope. One of the questions we're asked all the time is, I want to take photos through my telescope. How do I start? The answer might be simpler than you think. What you probably don't know is just how remarkably powerful the camera on your phone is. The same phone that's used for selfies or snaps with friends and family is perfectly capable of producing amazing images of the moon and bright objects in the night sky, as well as stunning close-ups of birds, wildlife and nature. All you need to do is hold your phone's camera just at the right distance of your telescope, spotting scope or even binocular. Sounds easy, right? But there's a problem. Getting your phone in exactly the right spot and keeping it there while you take a photo is tricky to do by hand. The Celestron Next YZ has a pull tab so we can fit your phone. On the back we have our axis controls, we have our up and down or Y axis, we have our X axis which is our left and right. When we turn this around to the side we can also see we have our Z axis or in and out. Once you've connected the Next YZ to an eyepiece You'll slide your phone into the dock by using the pull tab. You'll then start adjusting your axis controls to center your camera over the eyepiece. Once we're done, and we can see an image on our phone, you'll notice that you have this circle shadow on your image. Now this is vignetting caused by the phone's camera having a much wider field of view than the telescope and we can eliminate this by normally just zooming in a little bit. After we've done that, a quick tap to focus.